Hey, it's Joshua Vergara. What's going on, everybody? You can see it right in my hands. I have the LG Velvet, but it is inside the LG dual screen case. Now, this particular video is just going to be me kind of voiding the palette because I'm still going to do my full breadth of content around the LG Velvet. That includes a real world camera test. I'm actually going somewhere tomorrow. And then I'm going to do my top five complaints and takeaways so that you can really see how I feel about this particular LG device. Obviously, the LG Velvet is a very good looking device, and it's almost a travesty for me to cover it up using the dual screen case. But there's a reason why I want to focus on the case in this video, and it's because it looks good too. But if you are looking for more coverage of the LG Velvet right now, uh, well, there's a bunch of videos going out right now, and my review on Pocket Now will be out very soon. If it's available now, you can see a card appearing right now. I also included Issa's videos uh, about the LG Velvet, her unboxing, and also her camera test. Uh, that way you can see the other color because I got the green edition and she got that really good looking gradient color. But in this video, we're focusing on the dual screen case. And I really wanted to highlight this. Uh, that way it got its own coverage and it wasn't just a small part of my ultimate reviews. I personally think that this is the realization of everything LG wanted to have in a dual screen device. This is still the same dual screen case as we've seen in a couple of uh, previous LG devices, including the G8X and also the LG V60 ThinQ, which I did review here on the channel a little while back. But up until now, the LG dual screen has been just a utilitarian type of device. It's just been a case with a little bit of either pogo pins or a USB-C port. Uh, that way you can actually connect the phone into the case and it not only protects the phone, but it gives you an entire second screen. Clearly, this is your alternative to like a foldable device, uh, but the whole point of the LG dual screen wasn't that you would get a huge display, it's that you get two so that you can multitask. Now, to be fair, you can extend a, a number of applications to sprawl across both displays, but it's not really something I find myself doing too often, mainly because there's that huge crease in the middle. Instead, with this dual screen case, I would end up doing a lot of multitasking things. And you know me, it's all about YouTube plus something else. If you're very familiar with the dual screen, you know that this is one of the use cases, as well as the LG GamePad, which allows you to use the bottom half, which is typically the actual phone itself, while you have the game playing on the other screen. That way you can have a virtual gamepad that you can customize to the games that have touchscreen controls. This has always been fun to do. I've done plenty of videos on this particular functionality. Uh, and on Call of Duty, I can't really say that this actually makes you a better player, but it is good to get your fingers away from the action so you can actually just see it all happening. And then finally, yes, this is another Full HD Plus display over on the left side uh, as part of the case, and it does have the same exact notch as there is on the device itself. But these are all things that you've known. But I keep talking about this because it's honestly the best looking dual screen, and if you ask me, one of the best looking accessories for a phone that I've seen recently. LG has actually always been really good about outfitting their phones with plenty of different accessories. I remember years ago, they had uh, things like a 360 cam, they also had the modularity with the LG G5, uh, and now they're still continuing that tradition just in a couple of different ways. After all, you can use the dual screen case along with a Wacom tablet pen, a bamboo pen, which allows you to get full stylus support, but also you can use it like a memo pad using QMemo inside of the LG software. And part of the reason why the case is so satisfying is because it has slimmed down just like the LG Velvet is pretty slim itself. Compared to the LG V60 ThinQ with its dual screen case, this is a very thin overall package. It's something that you can actually put aside your uh, laptop and it looks like it fits right in, especially since this white color also shows off this little display at the top and actually makes it stand out. So in my final videos regarding the LG Velvet, I'll explain more as to why that particular phone, just this device, is still something that we should pay attention to uh, here in 2020, even with all the different phones that are coming out. Even with all of its flaws, the LG Velvet is still a little bit of a milestone, and that already shows with the LG Velvet's white dual screen. We've had a few generations of the dual screen by now. Its form and its function are all things that have already been proven, but now it just had to look like something that people would actually use more often. Something that is appealing to the eye, easy to hold, a little bit sleeker in the hand, and that way it's something that you can keep on the phone more often. So kudos go out to LG for finally making one of their function forward accessories a lot more appealing to the eye, actually pretty stylish, and thus makes it even more usable. The way something looks actually matters. And with the LG V60 ThinQ and its dual screen case and all the ones that came before it, those were just things you used when you felt like you wanted that functionality. But now this is something I actually feel like I could leave on the phone, uh, even though I kind of already lost the connector here to charge the phone while it's in it. 
So thank goodness the LG Velvet can still do wireless charging even when it's sitting inside of its dual screen case. And so there you have it. I know a lot of videos are coming out on the LG Velvet right now, but I'm still doing all of my coverage, not only for JV, but also for my review over at Pocket Now. You'll see that review get a little bit more fleshed out as I do things like my real world camera test and my top five complaints and takeaways. Those are going to be the final videos that you can look forward to on this device here on my channel. So look forward to that and even more. I hope you enjoyed this look at the LG dual screen. It's my way of hyping up just how cool this entire experience is, even if there are quite a few different caveats that we'll discuss later. So look forward to that and even more here on my channel. Subscribe to it if you haven't already. And if you're new here, thank you so much for sticking around. Get into the comment sections. Let me know how you feel about the LG Velvet, about the dual screen case in particular. And you know, it might be the same dual screen that we know, but doesn't it look way better? Let me know your thoughts in the comments. And with all of that said, I'm going to go ahead and call it on this one, get back to work on my LG Velvet coverage, and you can look forward to all of those videos. And until then, I will just remind you to enjoy your tea, everybody.